You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tie my beard in a ponytail and tie it to my neck or something, throw on some skinny jeans just to make it through the metal detector. But once again, I'm paying for the flight, right? So if I'm going to pay $1,000 to fly, I'm going to fly the way I want to fly. You understand? I have that right. You have that right. And I say this not to say that you have to, you know, implement these things. You do it to the best of your ability. Do it to the best of your ability. But what's wrong with being able to distinguish from my brother in Islam? I'll give you a scenario. If I was on the highway doing 70 miles per hour, which I call it kilometers, 120 would be like right for American speed, right? Well, you know, 60, 70 miles per hour. I see a brother. Fine law, on the side of the highway, having car trouble. But he got on an Adidas suit. No beard, nothing. I just can't see at 60 miles per hour what's in his heart, right? I can't. I'm not judging him, I'm not critiquing him. But at 60 miles per hour, Allah, I, can't, I cannot see what's in that man's heart. So naturally and instinctively, I'll probably just keep driving. But if I saw a brother that was on the side of the road and I'm doing 60 miles per hour and there's some type of clear indication that he is a believer, it would be instinctive for me as a believer to pull over and stop and aid my brother in Islam. Not saying that I would never aid a non-Muslim. Don't get me wrong. This is just to clarify the distinction between knowing a, you know, a Muslim when you see a Muslim. But it would be instinctive for me to pull over and aid a brother in Islam. Ma, subhanAllah, this brother look like he got car trouble. Let me pull over and help him. Same thing with sisters. You already know. I mean, Muslim brothers, we're shy. So we see a woman on the side of the road. She doesn't have, she's not guarding her chastity right now. Cars are going by, hair flying all in the air. This is not, I can't, I don't know if I can do this. But if I see my sister in Islam over there, Hijab, Khimar, Khab, something that indicates that this is a system of Islam, she's in trouble. It's instinctive for me to pull over and aid her. Same thing with one of you brothers. I'm walking down the street, you're getting beat up. All I see are your shoes in the air. You screaming, get off me, get off me. Then I see you at Jumar. You look like a raccoon, both your eyes black. <laughs> SubhanAllah, what happened to you? Yeah, I was on such and such a street. That was you? You know, I would have came and helped you. I, you know, I'm in shape. I got beat up with you. You know? We'd have both been in Juma looking like raccoons. You know? These are just analogies to just, you know, to remind you that, Aki, this is important. This is important. You know what I'm saying? Look at the, mir the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You could look in the sky and see a star, right? Billion light years away. Clear. But you can't see a hundred feet in front of you. That's a miracle. In the same way I should be able to identify with a star, I should be able to identify with a Muslim. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? <laughs> 